just a hack. It's just an absolute hack. And he gets his ass kicked by his teammates every week. It's just, you know, it's terrible. It's just terrible. Welcome back to Axe City. Joe DeLeon, Sean Anderson, two former college football players from the University of Rhode Island here to preview week 11 of FCS football action. Sean, God, it feels like we've been doing this for decades. The season has been so, so long. Today we are previewing North Dakota versus South Dakota, the little brother battle, and then SIU versus North Dakota State. All that coming up and more before we get to that, though. Sean, can you share a quick there we go to our listeners from our sponsor, F. Uh, the sponsor is not FU. The sponsor is Bet Online, and they are a reliable, resourceful, and informational website for you to get your betting odds, lines, trends, predictions. And you could do a little wagering there, too, if you didn't get the gist of it. Uh, all, the, all the betting action, along with every sport available at your fingertips with both desktop and mobile access at any time. Head to Bet Online today and remember to use your promo code, our promo code, believe that's B L E A V, for your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online where the game starts. All right. Talking on first, man, I act like I haven't done three shows today. North Dakota versus South Dakota. Another litmus test for both these programs. I, I think that for me, just at a, a broad glance, I'm already leaning South Dakota in this one, Sean. They have consistently strung together good games since the South Dakota State loss. I have seen and been, been reaffirmed of their capabilities on a weekly basis. They, they have really shown us that defensively, they're very, very stout. Offensively, there's a lot left to be desired. I can't get past the blowout losses that North Dakota, su North Dakota has suffered. The North Dakota State win was great, but that loss that they suffered is still very, very concerning. What benefits them coming into this game is that Tommy Schuster has been pretty hot the past few games. Isaiah Smith is a very talented running back. Uh, Bo Belquist is one of the better, more underrated receivers in the conference. And then I think their offensive line is also pretty stout. Easton Kilty is a strong offensive lineman, one of their best tackles, one of the best tackles in the country at the FCS level that is going to help them going up against this pretty stout um, South Dakota defense that is currently 13th. In yeah, I've been sacks. waiting to talk on this game uh, for a while. It's been on this, the calendar and the schedule. Now I'll be able to watch on this game this weekend. Uh, South Dakota is an interesting team because they are just a football team that wins football games. And it's not a team that's blowing other teams out. It's not a team that's that's typically losing uh, to by large margins outside of the South Dakota State game. Uh, they beat SIU uh, in just a true, uh, you called it a brick or and or rock fight on the recap, that's what it is. It a was. good team and the winning team wins that game because uh, they're just playing all three phases of football how they needed to. They come out with the tight ones. They beat Youngstown State by three. They beat North Dakota State by five. North Dakota State, we know that's not as strong as a win as we've seen, but it set the season in motion. That's what that win did. Uh, you know, it, that that's it's what South Dakota does. They don't play with fear either. They don't look intimidated by any opponent. They don't look like a team that is going to bow out or stop playing their brand of football at any point in a game. Win or lose, they're going to play South Dakota football. They're going to play at their tempo, and they're going to do their, their best to make you adapt to it. North Dakota, interesting season. Quizzical team at times trying to react, rate, and figure out what their true potential is. And you still don't know because you put up you put up a damn near 50 burger on North Dakota State. You're like, wow, this team might be playing deep in in the playoff. And then you get 27 hung on you uh, and you don't score a point the week after or the game after rather. So they're just Jekyll and Hyde. And if you get Jekyll, good. You're going to have a good day. If you get Hyde, go Hyde. Uh, it, it's not going to be the team that you want to see. Right. It's really perplexing that when we talk about this team that they've they've been so offensively potent. You know, the way that they played against North Dakota State, we know that they have that in them, and they do this against all the bad teams on their schedule. But like that Northern Iowa game, it still how does sticks it not? in my head. Because it how really does that happen? And you get one of those. You get one of those, right? Right. 
It's not like it's a 10 point loss. It's a complete and other blow, utter blowout where your offense didn't even show up. And that's supposed to be the strongest part of your team. I don't is, even is love them offense. giving up 33 to Indiana state. I don't love it. It's one of those days though. I don't love it, no. but I I'm not going to detract from North Dakota because every team has one of those days where the defense just is not locked in or they're, you know, the, the, the opposing offense is locked in and your, your offense has to carry, which they did, which should inspire confidence rather than why did we give up 33? You can still not love it, but be confident that the offense was able to keep up when the defense was having a down day. And that's what I think the, the, the heart and soul of both of these teams are is, Hey, we've been scratching and clawing and scratching and clawing beneath big brother our entire lives. That's how we win football games. We have to coach our asses off. We have to play our asses off. It's a different type of culture than when you are getting every every top recruit. When you are getting all the coaches want to go there and coach there and do this the the destination. It, they're not the destinations, but they play damn good football. I think though, with all this in mind, here is when North Dakota's played good defenses, they've been stomped out South Dakota state, Northern Iowa, they have com been completely eliminated. USD offensively has been very inconsistent. I mean like 14 to seven last week against SIU is, is pretty clear indicator that they just don't put up a lot of points, but they're winning defensively Aiden Bowman's a fine quarterback. It's not very sexy, but that whole back end defense has just been a, 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 a disruptive group. That whole group has been disruptive and they're getting after the quarterback better than most teams in the country. They're one of the best pass rushes in the Missouri Valley Football Conference. I think with all that in mind, like I got to lean the team that is not a, not one that you watch and you're just juiced up by insane offensive prowess. You know, they don't have a Theo day. But the fact that they're able to just completely eliminate opposing offenses the way that they do, I'm, I'm sticking with it. I'm sticking with South Dakota, and I think that South Dakota is one of the more underrated teams why you say? How dare you say Aiden he's Bowman not sexy? The... You said Aiden Bowman. He's not sexy. I said let's just ch let let's see what we got here. Am I? I thought I'm not. I thought I'm not allowed to comment on his. On I don't care anymore. Looks like a tall guy. Uh, he's got interesting uh, hair. Got a nice brow line. He's What's wrong nice with brow you? line? Why can't you be normal? What? A nice brow oh, line. A, no one's ever very, said that before. He's got a thick. He's got a thick okay. brow line. That's, He's got an interesting look there. as a quarterback is what I'll say. But I'm not going to let Joe besmirch any quarterbacks. Well, let me look up Tommy Schuster real quick. Let's. This will be the determination, uh, the, the determining factor of the game. Who is the – which quarterback God. are we more attracted this to? Looks like a North Dakota guy. Yeah, wait, yeah. let me send, send yeah, the pack. Send the pack. Let me see what Tommy Schuster looks like. <laughs> I'm sorry. I gassed out on the, on the real analysis. I did. <laughs> yeah, nice job sending the, the the fattest link that you could have sent I in the didn't document. I going to appear like that. Yeah, he looks like I a North Dakota you, quarterback. That's what he looks like. God, it's just a battle of who's the most mid-looking guy. <laughs> what the hell? What's wrong with you? Yeah, just two cur cur create a player looking dudes, man. <laughs> All right, minus that that shitty analysis, that just really terrible shitty analysis. Again, I truly believe that the way that South Dakota plays defensively is too much for this North Dakota offense that has just benefited from a lot of good matchups. Yeah, I think South Dakota is the – they're the favorite. They have a better resume. They grit out the wins, the tough wins that we see our teams, that we root for in our personal lives, choke – and choke and lose and choke. And all you want them to do is win one of the tight ones, win a game when it, when, when you really need to, and it's an ugly day. And, and, and God, that, that spur your video was making his rounds about around Twitter when they had an ugly win against Vanderbilt and he was pissed, but damn, if it's an ugly game, get the win at the very least. And South, South Dakota does that. They do that. So they have to be uh, the favorite going into it. Speaking on a team that desperately needs a win, North Dakota State, who didn't fall very far in the in the rankings, which I'm, I was really surprised by. Their resume is not very good. They have had a couple bad games, and I think there's been 
um, some people that have been surprised by where where they currently sit and, and whatnot. But North Dakota State comes off of just a season where they have not had a signature win. They haven't had a game where they've really established themselves. They looked fine early on in the year, but we've had multiple instances against South Dakota, against North Dakota, now against South Dakota State, where they faltered. They have not stepped up to the plate. Going up against SIU, here's your chance to reestablish yourself. Now, what makes a lot of sense on paper is for us to say that rushing attack's fantastic. Cam Miller's a good athlete. They're going to find ways to put points on the board. Fourth rushing offense in the country. One of the best offensive lines in the country as well. They just had a guy who accepted an East-West Shrine game invite. But I look at SIU's defense. This is a big defensive week. I look at what they have produced being the third best rushing defense. And most importantly, I am impressed by their secondary that has produced a number of guys that I think are going to be on the All-American list or at least the All-Conference list. That being Desmond Hearns, PJ Jules, DJ Johnson. They have been phenomenal football players. I also think that Colin Bohanick has been a great linebacker. They just have pieces at important positions. These aren't just good players on their team. These are some of the best players in the country at their positions. That's going to be a lot. And we saw last week when this North Dakota State offense went up against the team that was just way more physical and way more defensively equipped. They faltered. As much as I would love for North Dakota State to get back on their feet, I don't know if we can do that. You don't think you, you don't they think can do uh, North Dakota State has a signature win against Murray State? What that's about Western dub, Illinois? Uh, that's a really tough, tough location in Illinois home. to go to. <laughs> How about uh, a, a non-Bobby Petrino-led uh, Missouri State? They they beat them by twenty-eight. Yeah, that's a big that's a big win. It's a big tough. I don't tough, know what hard the best one is. Genuinely, it's either Central Arkansas, Maine, or Ewu. Ewu. Ewu that apparently I think I forget what somebody explained to me what the issue they had going into that game. But again, their their resume sucks. Their resume really sucks. It's bad. This is ugly. Lost they team. lost to we. Are, God, this is ugly. Yeah, they are not playing their brand of football, and I. Their fans have to be sick of hearing it. I get it. It, 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 but if you've been prominent for so long, we have to kind of detail the down year about as much as we can, because that's the juicy stuff. SIU's resume is better. They actually beat uh, Western Illinois by 63. Uh, North Dakota State actually gave up a touchdown to them. So that's uh, that's an interesting little factoid about the two that <laughs> it's not going to lean me all the way uh, to SIU, but the quarterback's better. Their team is better. They have more playmakers. North Dakota State is just not clicking to the expectation that they have earned uh, so far this year at all. So I, I'm not confident if they win. I'm not going to be. I'm not going to be super surprised. Be a little surprised. Um, but it's more of like, gosh, it, it would if 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 North Dakota State won this game. I would be. I would have to say SIU came out flat, and they turned the ball over like five times. That's how I see it going down. If, if it, that, that's, that's how the loss point. happens for SIU because they shouldn't lose this game. And first time saying that, but in this matchup, but it's true. They should not lose this game. That aligns with my thoughts as well. Is that how does Nick Baker play? Because Nick Baker is one of those guys that's just super volatile. Where he'll play a really good football game, and then he'll have multiple interceptions and this North Dakota state defense is still pretty good. You know, that Cole Wisniewski is a talented safety. And I think that the rest of that defensive front is aggressive and could cause problems for that SAU offensive line. So if you can force Nick Baker into making mistakes to put that defense into really tough short field situations, that's how you win the football game. You got to force Baker to falter because he's somebody who, when he doesn't play his best, he, but when he he's on, really the entire SIU team is on. That's the difference. He, yeah. he is a difference maker in that fashion. You just hope that he's on. And I, I so far, I'm not going to wager that he's not going to be. I'm okay. going to throw this out there. If they lose, if North Coast State loses, I am dropping them from my, Dunzo. my ballot. I, I don't see a way. They have four losses. They don't have a single ranked win. I don't know how they stay. It'll be over for him. It'll be off the ballot. Cool. 
welcome in Mercer. Come on in. You you can well come in come into the light. They, they kind of picked it up a little bit in the back half of the season. Uh, Mercer's they, gonna lose. Easy, to easy, easy. They're losing You're to Sanford. Tripping, tripping. They're lo- well. I have that. Yeah, 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 sure. The second, but yeah. That they have to North Dakota State has to get dropped though. I, I don't see a world where we we have to stop doing this. And there's it's it's the Montana thing all over again. And ha ha, yes, we brought up Montana again, and we're we're griping about it. Ha ha, it's the thing that keeps getting brought up. But in all seriousness, there's there's seemingly these fan bases in FCS more than FBS. It's a phenomenon that I I'm, I'm really still trying to fully wrap my head around where. Even when they're playing poorly, there's still the expectation that we're supposed to give them um, a break. A you know, there's the thought that we're maybe? supposed to just assume that. No, okay, that's. I'm looking that's for the a word. Bit abrupt. Yeah, I'm not I'm trying to say that it's here. entitlement's not the right word. It, it it's just an expectation that uh, I think these fan bases assume that their teams are going to figure it out and get fixed. But as we have tried to be, we are coming from the most unbiased angle possible. We played for Rhode Island, a team that is consistently just the middle of the pack to the back end of the CAA. Where we have Could never been fixed. in a position to root for any of these Midwestern teams, these Southern teams, even the other CAA teams. My whole point that I'm getting at here is that we have to recognize and be willing to admit to ourselves that if North Dakota State loses, they do not belong being ranked as a top 25 team. Schedule or not, they do not belong on there. I, and I understand that it is hard to play football in the Missouri Valley Football Conference. And the whole counter argument that we're going to get, Sean, I'm predicting it now, is going to be they play in a much more difficult conference. How could you bump them? But we got to be honest with ourselves. You still have to have ranked wins and a good record. Four losses, no ranked wins. Yep. Done. So. And it will be rightfully so. There won't be any defense for it. It will be you have too many losses to be acceptable on the top 25 straightforward. We can't do it. We can't do it responsibly. I'm sure, you know, like Ryan Roberts will still keep him on in like 23 or something. You know, he likes doing that. That's his. Uh, right. I'm not calling anybody out because I respect anybody that posts their ballot. You'll move them up. I will. I will not. Yeah. I yeah, will. will not do that. If they win, are you going to move them up 13 spots? <laughs> that's, the, that's the question somebody that's going to get asked. Somebody that's said it looks like he, gonna... I think he set a record is what somebody said. <laughs> For biggest jump. Uh, no, I think idiot. the biggest jump was like Lafayette. <laughs> jump maybe 40 spots onto the top 25. On my <laughs> on mine, yeah, mine, mine. I put them up in the top 15 as soon as they beat the Holy Cross. All right, speaking of which, let's get to FC. Estimates: South Dakota State versus Youngstown. Glad to see what Joe's picking the games again. A lot of, all right, whatever. South Dakota State. Just... Give me South Dakota State as well. Princeton. Uh, give me Yale. Yale. Wrong. Princeton. Morgan State versus South Dakota State. Or sorry, South I don't take Carolina South Carolina State. State. <laughs> Wrong. Morgan <laughs> State. <laughs> Fordham versus Lafayette. Fordham uh, give versus me Fordham. Lafayette. Don't. Don't. Wrong! I'm going with Lafayette. Give me the... the I think the, Oh my god, are they the Leopards? They've got a really weird mascot. It's not a... It's it's a very unique one. Um, know a lot of people who went to Lafayette as well. Congratulations! North Dakota... Yeah, it's a very it popular place in Lafayette North, Leopards. Go to. Yeah, suck it. North Dakota versus oh, South Dakota. Rad. Um, what'd you just ask me? Pay attention, dipshit. North Dakota versus uh, South, South Dakota. Dakota. Yeah. Uh, yeah. South the U.S. dollar. U.S. dollar is my pick. USD. Um, SIU versus NDS. I will take the Salukis. Wow. Ooh. We both went the same here. Give me oh. Sui as well. Elon versus uh, I'll take Richmond. Elon. Wrong. Give me Richmond. I think that's. Uh, I think that Richmond's hot right now. I think that Elon has always been very overrated. Elon just had a huge win. Spiders. Shut up. The spiders. They just beat people that they're not supposed to, and then they lose so games. If they're not supposed, supposed to beat Richmond, then why are you taking Richmond, idiot? 
they're the they're the most annoying yeah, donkey that's brains point. that's what that's i thought point. oh you like that one I, you i'm that taking one? the spiders give me the spiders uh eastern washington versus uh, montana, montana state. state montana state as well idaho versus weber oh, close ones that joe's picking here idaho you I pick them. You I pick don't them. Go, oh, you know, I don't want to go with the bottom today. of the barrel you games. Pick yeah, keep on honking your car horn. I'm sure Who I'll move you? out of the lane. You jerk ass. You're an asshole. Sanford versus Mercer. Mercer. Wrong. Give me Sanford. Sanford's going to beat Mercer. You shouldn't. Shouldn't what? Say it. It continues. It's gonna be a problem between us. It's gonna be a problem. You would be you're gonna see it's me. gonna be you're a, gonna, see gonna per- be some gonna... form of a problem. You're not gonna I see me in person to. ever again. You. At Joe DeLeon. <laughs> you're gonna dox me. You have not oh, nothing to you. dox me I with. Can get you, I can I, get you good. I, I have a clean background. I got a clean background.